All right, so this is just a brief video. I wanted to talk about an interesting topic to me, which is how do you know when an instrument is finished? So this here is something called the Pyramid Eel. This is an instrument I started about six months ago, finished about three months ago. And I haven't had a chance to do too much on the internet with it. I did one live video on Facebook last week. Because what tends to happen is you get these instruments to a certain point and you start playing them. And once you start playing them, you don't want to fix them as much or, or finish them or improve them or develop them or anything. Uh, the reason is you just enjoy playing them so much. So if you watched my video log, you probably saw that board inside there being constructed. So, uh, fortunately... Um, fortunately I was able to get to this one to the point that I can I can play it's lovely it has these four octave keyboard on it and it's got ten knobs on there with space for many more but so far I've, I've been able to get like enough sound complexity out of it that I don't feel like adding more and what's really nice if you go back to this piece of music a, a lot of these the music I like has four parts to it so it's got your two violins viola and violoncello or also known as just cello. So having a, a keyboard with this wide range means I can rehearse any of those four points, four parts. And then when I meet up with people in real life, you know, depending on what they play, I can I can play any of these other four parts. I really love this instrument. But today I'm going to go to the hardware store and get some parts because what happened is while playing it, I actually knocked it over. And um, I actually knocked it over twice. It's on this pyramid base, as you can see, hence the name Pyramid Eel. Let's do the top view down. And I'm still learning how to make it completely stable. If I tip it a little bit, it returns. But there is a kind of point of no return. So more than once, I've jetted out of the room and just bumped it. And then from the other room, heard it hit the ground, crash. And you can see this top piece here is completely split. And so... That's supposed to be a height adjuster for the keyboard. And as you can see, it's not it's no longer integral. <laughs> I think it doesn't hold together. Another thing that happened is it landed on these knobs here. Oh geez, see. And that, that banged up some of the insides. It banged up a lot of the knob rows and I had to replace them and resolder them. So in my next CAD design, I've made the base a little bit wider so it's gonna be more stable. The other thing is I didn't put these screws on here very tightly. So that's what I'm going to go to the hardware store and do now. The screws I had, they were, they're the right width, but they're just not long enough to poke out the back, and I didn't have any nuts for them anyway. So because of a couple dollars worth of nuts and bolts, this uh, panel doesn't hold on yet. But that's okay. I'm just going to uh, rush out to the hardware store and grab them, and uh, then we'll be in a lot better situation. As far as this piece up here, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. I've thought of maybe removing it and re-gluing it just to get a little essential stability. But that just kind of goes back to the, the whole preface of this video, which is what happens once you get something that's kind of good enough. You know, it isn't, it isn't wonderful, but the point is I've been playing it every day for weeks and weeks and weeks and just loving it. So... You know, you have to find an interruption in your own um, mental state <laughs> where maybe you just get so frustrated that somehow you have to tear yourself away from playing. Because I would much rather just play today. I don't want to have to take a drive to the hardware store and then, you know, disassemble this side panel. Actually, I'll show you that too. That's kind of fun here. Like, whoop, pull that off. And that's how you can get to the inside to, to fix things. But that's just the kind of the tension that a music instrument designer has between trying to finish something and having something to play. You know, you get it good enough. Um, in the past, I've had other sort of uh, factors that help you figure out when something is done. The first one is when someone steals it, which I've had happen. Definitely people have stolen my instruments from my lab at MIT. So you know it's probably good enough at that point that people want it. Or similarly, someone borrows it and doesn't want to give it back. So that's how you know it's good enough. You know, if they borrow it and then give it back, 
you know, they say, oh, well, it needs a little work, then you have definitely have uh, input to do the work. But if they're using it full time, making recordings with it, then you know the instrument's done. Anyway, that's just my little insight from Noah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, become a patron on Patreon, everything like that. All right, bye-bye.